just like a normal children, you know, I live in China when I was a little boy. But the difference is when I was eight years old, I went to the, the government choose me, you know, send me to the special sports school. And a lot of children uh, study ping pong table, you know, tennis, or I'm lucky. <laughs> so I study martial art. Uh, at a school, we're training eight hours a day, uh, six days a week. So, I'm at school around 10 years. So, not the normal children, you know, go to a normal school. I just stay at the school. Only the Sunday I can go home to see my mother, <laughs> my family. Uh, every day I live in the school. So, for 10 years. Uh, on 1970, in China, now the television is not very popular. So the movie is the government movies talk about uh, you know, some government things and not very entertainment things. <laughs> you know, uh, in 1970, probably I, I saw a movie once a year, maybe not, not so many, because the teacher, the coach, treat us every day, you know, do it, do it, do it, do it, <laughs> you know. I don't have a lot of time to see movies. Wushu is, a uh, lot of people know Kung Fu, but uh, people didn't know Wushu. Just different names. Basic is, is uh, not only the physical movement, also has inside uh, philosophy or I have two parts, we call yin yang, you know. One part is training your inside physical body, other side is training your movement. Wushu, like, like martial art. Maybe the idea is the art of part physical body. <laughs> I thought people in this 21st century have for four, uh, for, for different kind of uh, parts to learn martial arts. When you say you want to learn martial arts, become the champion, go to Olympic. One kind is you want to learn martial arts, become TV star or <laughs> television movie star. <laughs> when you want to learn martial arts, want to train yourself, self, keep, keep your healthy. When is for protect yourself. So depends people how to think, what do they what do they want to get? Then you learn different kind of martial arts. Bruce Lee had his uh, style we call Wing Chun. He studied Wing Chun. It's a part of the martial art. You know, uh, in martial art in China, we have maybe hundred or uh, different kind of movement, hand to hand. Maybe have another thousand kind of weapons to use. So. He learned for South China, one kind of called Yung Chun. But he, when he left in the States, he learned a lot of uh, dancing stuff, or boxing, you know, or he mixed up uh, some Tai Chun Do, it's a karate key. He put a lot of things together. He took all the bad things, put it together, become Blue Sli style his own style, of course, includes some songs, styles, movements. That's what we call the Blue City style, <laughs> his own style. No, I, I, I like it. Uh, that's what I said. The first time I see the action movie, just Blue City movies. So, but when I grew up, I thought, hmm, the story is pretty good. The fighting is pretty good in Blue Sea movies, but they forgot something. They just talk about uh, his uh, <clears throat> master died by a Japanese guy killed. He had very angry. He wanted to kill the Japanese guy. That's the story. But uh, my story is down to talk about uh, even the Japanese fight China. They have a fight. They have a war. The second war, but. Young Chinese guys still want to went to Japan to learn new things. 
not to learn martial art. He learned technology, take an engine, you know, a lot of new things. Why Chinese is a huge country beaten by the small countries? So he wants to learn new things. Then he loved with the, he fell in love with the Japanese girl. That's the big different things. In China, all oh, their country fight in my country, then you love Chinese girl. Japanese doesn't like you, Chinese people doesn't like you. But I want to tell the people, love story, no countries, no colors. If you truly in love with somebody, just love. Don't care too much. You know, his story, pressure in your back. That's a continuum of philosophy. <laughs> so also, I tell more information on the sea. A lot of Japanese, real ja Japanese people, doesn't like it, want to war fight with China. China, a lot of people doesn't want to fight. Only the army, somebody control the army, want to make money or, or something, you know, they, they start a war. So I don't want to, like Bruce Lee movies, in the movie you see, all the Japanese guys are bad guy, all the Chinese guys are good guy. That doesn't make sense for me. I thought Chinese have a lot of bad guy, have a lot of good guy. That's the balance. Japan also have a lot of good guys, even the, have a fight. They still have a lot of good guys, a lot of bad guys. And that's the every country have a balance. I think now a lot of people know, oh, that is Jay Lee Star. <laughs> because i a little bit different with uh, Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan. Uh, Bruce Lee is very serious, uh, you know, very fast very fast. His movement very fast and very powerful. And Jackie Chan has a lot of style. He's uh, jump up from car to car, building to building. That's the Jackie Chan stuff. Uh, let's say Jelly style, just if you've seen the Once Upon a Time China, uh, that's Jelly style because I use a lot of weapons. Between the fight, just not a look like the fighting, you know, both two hands together, maybe you need a, some very deep inside, move your hand. I don't see maybe a little, little bit dancing in the fight, put it together. More deep inside the body things. A lot of people say that's jelly style. <laughs> oh, I think uh, martial art uh, with the history grew up because China, China has uh, 5,000 history. So in the beginning, people learning martial arts for fight with animal to keep their life. Later on, they become the army things to, pr to protect the area or countries. But now, martial art becomes sports, just uh, Olympic sports. But when the movie, television become popular, people bring the martial arts into the movies to help the character. I never saw the martial art, well, just the movie, movie, just that martial art, just martial art only can help the character in the movie. It's a different things. So, because my, I have a special experience learning martial arts, so I use a lot of martial art in my character, in the movie to help the character uh, have his own style to fight or to to acting. Shaolin Temple. <laughs> That's like 20 years ago. <laughs> uh, so I just brought all my learned for past 10 years on that time. Past 10 years, the stuff bring to the movie. We call 18 kind of weapons all the different kind of things just put it in the movie. I choreographed it by myself because I don't know. I just asked the director, just do something to help the characters. So I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Just the director tell me how to do it, just do it. <laughs> I just do it, do my best. Then after that, then I thought it's my life start changed because uh, the movie, because I use martial arts through the movie, can tell more people know Chinese ha Ch China has best, uh, very good sports. So I thought maybe 
mm, that's that's the, my job. So I just continued to do 26, 27 movies until now. Just through the movie, tell the more people's martial art can help people uh, for healthy, you know, for knowledge something. Yeah. Oh, he's the real martial artist in China. So he's very famous because he never kill people. <laughs> he's beat up the bad guys. Then teach them become good guy. That's his uh, basically his uh, character. So because that is the character in Hong Kong, uh, we shot more than hundred about his movies called Huang Fei Hong this, Huang Fei Hong that, you know, more than hundreds. Then I think better than the guy's real life <laughs> because everybody created more things into the, his real life into the, his name so when we uh, 10 years ago we, we, we start again shoot this guy's name uh, his uh, story we think the, not just physical things we want to put more information about the Chinese people uh, you know Chinese people they have they carried a lot of history things. So, how do they thought of Western style? So this, you, when you keep learning martial arts, the Westerns, you, they had a gun, they had a you know, shape, a lot of things happened. So, usually in, in China, a lot of people just want to close their eyes, they want to learn a lot of new, thing, new things. But this character, he, want to keep Chinese good traditional things. At the same time, he learn a Western style. He's like, uh, a lot of things the same with real my life, you know. I live in China. Uh, on that time, Chinese is closed country. We only can see inside the country. We cannot be open to see outside things. But I'm lucky when I was 11, I traveling around the world. So I, when I first time went to France, parents, I thought it's 1977. So I, 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 I traveling around more than 45 countries. I see a lot of uh, Western style, where different country, different kind of cultures. So a lot of country, every country have a lot of good things. Also have bad things. Even China have good things and bad things. So why we just learn their good things, bring the good things to China, then keep Chinese good things together? Just tell the young people, learn more things. Every country have good things. You know, a lot of art from Paris. Why we just learn something? Then, then we you know keep good things together. So, I think the the director, Mr. Tui. Uh, how to call his name, Cui Ha. Uh, yeah, he also have a great, we have a same opinion, so now is the time to tell the teenager more things, learn a lot of things, because the world getting smaller. We need to learn a lot of things from different countries. Tell the young guys, don't carry too much the pressure for your history. Forget a lot of things. You know, you love somebody, even that is your anti, you know, the, the culture things, the anti, you cannot love each other in China. But the character he loved with his aunt. But the age is the same, so whatever. China changed very fast in the past 20 years, you know. But sometimes I worry about that they change too fast. <laughs> they learn a lot of good things from Western, but the bad things also come in very fast. You don't forget, you know, in American they have 200 years history, more than 200 years history. Also, they have very basic, strong foundation by law. You know, Chinese people learn a lot of new things, but we didn't have law to prove all the things because we need to write everything new. By new law, new things happens. Every young children, you need a balance. 
uh, everything too fast is no good, but too slow is also no good. You need a balance. So that's I like martial art. Always tell you how to control your body, your mind, your heart to balance. Balance can keep the world peace. I think that's a very good thing. No, not crazy about it because the war, because yours, because of the television, satellite, <laughs> change the world. The world becomes smaller and smaller. Before, if I want to know New Year what happened, I hardly know. I cannot see the newspaper, I cannot uh, saw television or news. But now, maybe three million later, I can know parents have bomb, parents have new car, new clothing, internet, you can change all of the world things, new things happen. So the world becomes smaller. Then people start think about it. A lot of interesting things put it together. Also, this question a lot of reporters ask me again and again. I also interesting. So I went to the college to ask young people why you think you like Chinese martial art. <laughs> Not, they gave me a very interesting answer. They say, in 1980s, in 1980s, the American children they grew up with a lot of computer, a lot of games, fighting games, but the games Rainbow style, use the machine guns, bum, 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 you know, they play the game, who's the fastest, bum, 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 bum. bigger gun, you carry more bullets, then you fight, that's the game. But in, 19, in the 90s, they start playing the game, is some kind of martial art fight, weapon style, you know, fight, that become popular. So they grew up together with the game grab. up. So they know some interesting things in the game. Then they thought, wow, in the war, have some people can really do that things in the games. Uh, so they start liking the martial art movies. They said, wow, I play the game, but now I have real people to do that, maybe more interesting. They already know, oh, nice drunk style, drunk style, oh, that is the Japan style, that is the Korea style, you know. They know a lot of Kung Fu, so this is why they like martial art movies or Kung Fu movies. I thought it's the American producer, you know, uh, what a studio, they also ask for who is the choreography in Hong Kong with you? Who is you mo like the most? Because they don't know how to make uh, Chinese style or Hong Kong style, you know, the Kung Fu fight scene in the movie. So they need to bring somebody special uh, work in American films. Even the, uh, called the, what? Joe, Joe produced the Matrix. And still, it's the Hong Kong choreography. All the action sequence is created from by the Hong Kong very famous choreography. You know, uh, he's called Wu Ping. Yeah. So I think the audience like it. Okay, I thought it's not a big difference. Uh, you tell yourself, I tell you I mess myself every day, I'm not a star. I just uh, actor or martial artist. I'm not a star. If you thought you're a star, you're gonna be loose. <laughs> you know, you can see you uh, walk on the street, I'm the star, but you cannot see the <laughs> audience. The audience is your, is your boss. They pay the money to you to watch the movie, then the studio got the money, then can they can make another lot of movies. Not for you, you are not a big star, you are just the special worker in the movie business. If you thought you're, I'm the star in the world, then you're gonna be <laughs> threw in the water, I thought. So, also, Mel, uh, Danny Glover, a lot of people is famous. A lot of reporters say they are the biggest star. But uh, I thought they self, they, I talk to each other, we're a very friend. Uh, he's a friend of mine, so he didn't think he's the star. He just, he's a, also he's the job. He, for him, it's the job. So that, that's why they can keep their, still work so hard. Do something by themselves, you know, in the cold weather, raining, they still work so hard because they didn't think they're a star. If they think 
There also is the star. Maybe one day he's gonna be go home. <laughs> Can I do that again? Uh, I think it, I don't have pressure work with them. Yeah. I just actor in the movie. I always tell the people say, "Look, I'm just Jelly. I'm not a hero, but I always play the hero in the movie." Also, I play the bad guy. I'm not a bad guy. <laughs> I just played. I'm the actor. I play the character. Is bad in this movie. But whatever the good guy, how good they are, they still have something. It's not very good. Whatever the bad guy, how bad they have some reason. It's the bad. <laughs> you know, everybody have some reason to do their things. So, if you want to become good actor, I thought you. I like to try different way. Sometimes play a lot of good, you know, play a lot of good guys. Maybe very challenge to play the bad guys, you know. Then uh, I play the character is to play the bad guy. I thought that it's very interesting uh, in Little Weapon Four. It's a good experience for me. You know. Yes. Ah. Um, uh, in Hong Kong movie, I always work with the choreography. Uh, we have a team, you know. We create a lot of action together. In the Little Weapon, also I bring my team, you know, very famous action director called Corey Yun, and also my team together can, uh, to help the all the action sequence in Little Weapon Four. Also in my new movies. So. It's the same same thing, same crew. We always work together. Yeah. I think in Hong Kong, uh, well, in the States, it's uh, not big different. Only the difference is the, uh, the budget. The budget in America is bigger than Hong Kong, where the marketing American movie have bigger marketing uh, all over the world. Maybe Hong Kong movie, just Asia. But I hope later on can went to you know can go to Europe or States. Uh, the first thing you need to prove you can make some special movies. Uh, you can make something special. That's the why American producer or the studio want to say oh choose this guy because he have something special. <laughs> And now you need to prove you can do good job. You can make money to for them. Then you got another chance to do other movies. So every country have the same thing. In Hong Kong, you do the same thing. In the States, you do the same thing. I always tell myself, forget the past. What I do, what I did on the past. I'm the new guy today. Every day is new things happen. I need to learn English. I need to learn things. Learn American style.、Uh, This movie is success, but the next movie maybe not. So you need to learn again. I'm a new actor <laughs> every day. So this is my philosophy. I need to learn. I just normal guy. I play the different characters. Also, I need to learn every day. Chinese have one famous sentence.、Uh, when you how to translate? When you become older, older, you still need to learn. I learn. It's the, how to translate that sentence? 活到老学到老 That's about right. 活到老学到老 Yeah, you become older, 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 but、uh, you need still need to study, study, study. Yes, because that's the very good sentence. I think the most important for me is still is the story. You know, good script is、uh, hard to find. A lot of story we do again, again, again. So sometimes you cannot control yourself. You know, you should do that, but you not really want to do it. But you still need to do, it. because the real story、eh, is very hard to find. Very hard to find. But if when you find, they're gonna be great movies. I got a lot of script.、Mm, maybe. More than 50 scripts at my home. <laughs> you know,、uh, I heard about American in Hollywood. Every year they had a 4D 
about around a half million script. So in, in, in the half million store script, you know, my agent and my friends help me to take good story, what a studio, what a director, producer gave you the good story. So I still, I, I read a lot of stories, scripts. Uh, I still consider, try to find good one. I didn't decide yet. <laughs> Uh, nice, interesting things, you know, I might, uh, Matrix, the director, <laughs> several mo months ago, they tell me they had a story several, several years ago, but they couldn't make it because they didn't know how to make the movement very soft because you use the computer, but still very hard, the movement is... Look at a cartoon, mm. cartoon, you know. So finally, they 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 thought a lot of Hong Kong movies. So they bring the Hong Kong choreography to the American, and training just discuss how to use the Hong Kong style. You know, we call it wire. You know, <laughs> then that's a work, work that way. You can see very beautiful movement in the air. Then also use the computer to help to make them together. I think it's a work. They they're so happy to work with Hong Kong choreography. Uh, different kind of story. We use different kind of wares. But it can be dangerous. Were you hurt often? Did you break a leg or whatever? In... Of course, you know. Because we do action movies, of course, <laughs> we got a lot of hurts. I have seven pieces broken before. <laughs> uh, just look like the, you want to become the army to protect your country. You need to know one day you, maybe you're going to be dying. <laughs> uh, if you want to become a policeman, maybe someday on the street you need to fight with the bad guy. So you need to do, you want to do martial art. You know, action, actor, you need to prepare. You know, someone, they need a broken somewhere. Uh, yeah, that's true. You know. uh, I think whatever the, your success or not, you just become happier to do what you really want to do. Not for the just the name or money. You need to do something you really want to do. Not feeling is the most important uh, for me. Also, if I do something, I do my best. I don't know the future, but uh, if I really want to do, I start, then I do my best. Uh, also, I need to tell myself, i just a normal guy. i just jelly. A lot of people give me not a title, that's, they gave me. Then one day I'm not popular, they take it back. <laughs> oh, that's the guy. <laughs> so whatever the action star, whatever the names, that's not belong to me. I just jelly, I just normal pe people. I have a little bit special background, just the martial arts, that's not my love. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ah, once upon a time in China, oh, a long time ago, the story. <laughs> oh. It's a very good actor, uh, the character. I, I like him very much because he never kill people. He just beat the bad guy up, then teach them become good guy. So this is why I like the character. Thank you. Merci beaucoup, Mr. Lee. Thank you. You really Thank you. like we could imagine you. Thank no, you. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Peter. <laughs>